Okay, so when it comes to picking a program, whether it be for size or strength, right, we still have to have a principle of foundation, or starting strength, we have to understand the movements that we're doing so we're not getting ourselves hurt, we're not wasting time, right? So I really focus on progression and regression of every single movement, but we'll focus on just the big three that you think of right now, your squat, your deadlift, and your bench press, okay? So uh, depending on where you are uh, in your advancement of lifting, right, you're gonna be doing using a different variation or a multiple other variations, okay? So for example, in your squat, you never squatted before, you, uh, you try to use in your own body weight and you find yourself falling forward or you fall backwards or you can't get low enough, like those are things we have to look at and break down. Um, and we can, you know, in another video, we'll do corrections on that of, you know, what is it tight hamstrings? Is it a bad uh, core? You know, what have you? Uh, but if you kind of just screenshot this, the variations of squat, you're starting at a body weight, you're moving into a goblet squat where you're just interiorly loading, you know, a dumbbell or a kettlebell in front of you. Okay. Moving on from there, you're going into a barbell front squat. And then from there, you're going into a barbell back squat where the bar is actually sitting on your back or going into a squat. Okay, so always take your time on these variations. Make sure you actually build yourself and or, or quote unquote earn your right to that barbell back squat. Uh, the deadlift, right? So we're gonna take a dowel rod or just uh, you know a broom handle or anything like that, making sure in a, in a hinge you want to think that your hips are shifting back. You're not squatting down, right? You're utilizing your backside, not your front. Um, so you know back alignment. Am I using my hamstrings? Am I using my lower back? Those kinds of things. If you have lower back pain, if you know just stick your your hips out, just try to activate your hamstring. Do you feel a hamstring pull? Do you feel your lower back? Those kinds of things that come in a later video. But as we start to learn how to actually hinge with just you know no weight, just our own body weight without any problems, we can start to add in a kettlebell uh, or a barbell right in front of us to pull us forward. We still have to shift back. I know you can't really see me. Um, but then we earn, again, quote unquote, earn the right to barbell deadlift up off the floor, use a trap bar, those kinds of things. And the last part is a bench. This is the one I see the most common in the gym is, especially for us guys, we want to get in there and bench right away. Um, but, you know, at the point, like assisted push-ups, you want to think that with like knees on the ground or like the higher elevation that you are if you're starting off on a wall or a, a low bench. And you can do those chest to, chest to bench or anything like that. Then you make you, yourself down all the way down to the floor where your chest touching the floor and you're pushing off. But if you can't be, you know, if you can't bench your own, uh, sorry, push up uh, your own body weight, you know, five, six, seven times, 10, 20 times, those kinds of things are an issue for your shoulder strength and overall just like, um, you know, body, like strength to body weight ratio. So we, people will skip one, two, and three and start bench pressing it, although they can't even uh, uh, do a push up with their own body weight or even a few of them. So I, I really recommend doing push ups, uh, you know, as often as you can. Really uh, get down the form, learn how to shoulder pack. Again, we can do another video on that if you'd like. Uh, so I have assisted push up. You can do like just the variations I was saying, or like a chest press machine where the motion is being done for you and you are building the muscles used in the chest press. Uh, you can go into a dumbbell press or a barbell, vice versa. Kind of everybody's up in the air on which one's harder. Um, bench press, your or barbell, you're going to be loading the bar with significantly more weight. Uh, dumbbells, you do have to stabilize both sides. So you are going to be a little less on the on that than a barbell. So to each their own.